Hey everybody, Max here for IGN. I am with Cameron Monaghan, who is playing Cal Kestis in the upcoming Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Hey! Who are you? Cal Kestis. Uh, so tell me a little bit about sort of uh, how you got in character as Cal. Uh, Cal was, uh, he's, he's an interesting one, you know, he's uh, rife with a lot of internal conflict when we first find him. He's on the run, he's been through uh, a lot of traumatic experiences, he's sort of the, one of the last of his kind. Uh, he's watched a lot of people very close to him kind of be struck down, and he, so he's been living on his own and beginning his story. So he's. He's in this strange place and he's kind of, you know, he was trained a little bit as a Padawan, but he doesn't necessarily have the same sort of connection to the Force that many of the Jedi that we um, are familiar with do. You know, his is a little bit more volatile. Don't reach within. Um, so he's kind of in this, this strange place and he's a bit wary uh, when we first meet him, but over the course of the game, he kind of learns um, to let down his guard and companionship with his, his partner, Seer, and Graves and BD1. Who are you people? Okay, shut that thing off and grab some seat. <laughs> What's kind of amazing about Cal that I love is there's still this um, beautiful optimism to him. Like, in spite of everything he's been through, there's still... Um, heart and a belief that things can be made better. And I think that there's something wonderful about that. But it was just, um, most of what building him was, was just kind of just trying to find the circumstances yeah. in which he grew up and to, to then build outward from there. There's, there's a lot of, um, I mean, we, we have uh, Grease, who is awesome. Um, he, he's kind of one of uh, one of our main uh, points of levity. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. The Manus works wonders. I mean, it's a great ship, excellent pilot, but it is not built for close support. We'll stay here and monitor Imperial transmissions. With a bit of luck, we'll intercept any distress calls. There's a lot of fun to be had, and a lot of the fun is also just sort of situational and can kind of be found by exploring the worlds within. There's a lot of uh, hidden stuff and things that I didn't even know was in the game. He's searching for something. Something very precious to the Empire. Now obviously uh, it's one thing to kind of walk onto a set and you know get to look around and see everything but when you're doing performance capture you're you know you're wearing a suit and you're in a room full of, like PVC pipes which sure. is a little bit less exciting. How long was it between you doing performance capture until you got to actually play as yourself in the game? Uh, you know, the process b between um, doing the mocap and, and the finished product, project is not like, you know, just plug the data in and then it's kind of just done. There's a lot of, there's kind of like a gradient of mm -hmm. how finished it is. And so I saw a lot of these uh, sequences as they were being worked on and being built in many different iterations. And um, there's just, there's so much uh, amazing work and craftsmanship that goes into it. Ultimately, you know, you kind of see these very basic rudimentary versions where characters are kind of like floating <laughs> and their head will be falling off their body and stuff. And so you see this the beautiful finished project but yeah, I, we, we did motion capture for like six months and then it was a number of months more uh, before I actually sat down and uh, played some of the game. Nice. Well, we don't, don't have to wait too long to actually yeah. play the game. That is out November 15th. That's yes. on PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Cameron. Pleasure. You're a video game character. You're an action figure. You're yes, in Star sir. Wars. Yes, sir. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Stick around. May the force be with you. <laughs> We're in. You can't save them. Not from me.